What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And in this video, we're going to be rooting the Transformer Pad TF701T. I did a video that showed you how to root it in slot custom recovery, but this method is going to be quite a bit easier as you're not going to have to like worry about deleting files and keeping recovery and you're not even going to install recovery anyway unless you want to after you've already rooted it. So all we're going to do is open up the web browser here. And then we're going to find the XDA thread that shows you how to easily root this bad boy. We easily found it. It is a thread by IPDUNWELL, W E L L. So huge shout out to him, unless that's a lowercase l, which it might be a lowercase l, LPD Unwell. So we're going to have the drivers right here because we do not have these at the moment. And. We're going to need to download Universal Naked Drivers 073. Going to go ahead and save that. I also don't have 7-zip, so I'm going to go ahead and install 7-zip. I have a 64-bit computer, so I'm going to go ahead and go with a 64-bit version of it. Save file, go over here, and then click on 7-zip, and then next... I accept, next, next, install. Once it installs, we're going to hit finish. And then I'm going to do Windows Q to bring up this little screen right here. And then type in file. And now I can right click on 7-zip, open file location. Right click on it, choose properties, and then compatibility and run as administrator. You're going to need 7-zip as an administrator in order to set your file associations. So I go to tools, options, and then select all, apply. If you did not have administrator on 7-zip, then it would do that. If you have UAC enabled, it'll ask you to allow it or continue it. I also uncheck cascade and I do this. I uncheck these that I'm unchecking right now. And that's just how I, you know, have my 7-zip set up. Okay, so now I can go back to my downloads folder. And in here, you'll see the Universal Naked Drivers. Now, if you click on it, it's going to ask you, do you want to open it with? I choose 7-zip. Now, I can right-click on it, choose Extract to Universal Naked Driver. Well, let's see if it's a folder inside a folder. It is not. So, I'm going to go ahead and right-click and choose Extract to Universal Driver. All right. And then I'm going to go to, I'm going to plug the tablet into my computer now. And I'm going to go ahead and disconnect all internet. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and plug my tablet in. I just don't want Windows trying to find these drivers. And I don't want Windows to install them for me. So now I need to go to advanced startup by hitting control or the Windows logo and then Q, and I need to do Advanced. And here I need to go to Change Advanced Startup Options, and then and then Advanced Startup and hit Restart Now. And then I need to go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and then you'll see those lists right there, so hit Restart. When you have a list or a screen pop up, you'll just hit number seven. Mine's not showing up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it anyway because of the way I'm using my capture setup. It's just probably not showing me the screen. You're like, you're seeing a black screen right now. Okay, for some reason it failed me. I'm gonna go ahead and try that again. I'm not sure why it didn't take me into advanced startup. So we'll go ahead and try that one more time. Okay, yeah, you're not seeing the screen right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit seven and my device is going to start up. So whenever you do the restart now, it, you'll be presented with a blue screen and you'll just basically hit the number 7 on your keyboard or F7 and then it'll take you to the advanced stuff. So for some reason I wasn't able to capture that screen. So we're going to go ahead and go to our computer here. Right click on this, choose manage. If you get a little prompt, just go ahead and accept it. Go to device manager. I'm not sure why my tablet's not showing up. I'm going to unplug my tablet and then plug it back in. Okay, I might need to enable USB debugging. So settings on the tablet, 
and then go all the way down to about. Correct, I did not have developer options enabled. So go to about and then software information and then keep tapping on the build number. It says you are now a developer. A new option appears on the left, developer options. I'm gonna go ahead and hit USB debugging. It prompts you with a little allow screen, just hit okay. And then see now it says Asus Android composite Android interface. So I'm sorry I had my camera off at the moment. So I'm gonna right click on this and choose update device thing. Browse my computer for software. Let me pick from a list and then show all devices next. And then have disk, hit browse, go to your uh, downloads. Let's see if this has a way of doing it really. There we go, downloads. And then Universal Naked Driver. And then Win USB. Okay. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go with the Asus Transformer ADB interface. Hit next. Yes. Uh, yes, install this driver anyway. And yay, now we have this. So if we go to our platform tools, which you'll need to download the Android ADB or Fastboot SDK, uh, I will have a link in the description. It's it's really easy. Just go to your browser, type is.gd slash Android SDK. The A in Android is capitalized and SDK is capitalized. I'll have a link on the screen in the description. But you'll just go to your platform tools, use shift on your keyboard, right click, and choose open command window here. We're gonna choose ADB devices. And hopefully ADB will start up. And on my tablet, it's saying allow USB debugging. I'm gonna hit always allow from this computer and then okay. And now it says unauthorized. If I do it one more time since I authorized it, it'll say device. So it got attached, it's fine. All right, so uh, we have drivers working just fine. We need to go back to the, th uh, I can, you can plug your internet back in. Again, you just don't want your computer trying to download the drivers um, because it will not choose the best ones. So we're gonna go back to that thread that we had up earlier. And then we're going to go ahead and click on the root.zip, save file. And we need to CD into that directory. The easiest way to do that is to go to the zip right here and then go here and we need to take these two files and we need to also open up uh, let's just do file explorer platform tools we need to take these and we need to move these into that folder right there so we need to give it privileges just hit continue continue alright sweet and then we need to boot into bootloader you can do volume down plus the power button at the same time i'm going to do it the easier way since we have it connected to the computer and uh, via adb devices we verify that our tablet's working fine with our drivers and everything so open command window here all right now the tablet should be up on the screen we're going to go to um, make this to the left here uh, now let's go to the right so you can see where the drivers are and stuff all right, so we're gonna type in ADB reboot bootloader, and that will reboot our tablet into bootloader mode, which again, volume down plus power at the same time will get you to this screen. So from here, we're gonna go back to this thread and let's make this over here to the left as well. There we go. Make this to the right. Sorry, I meant right. I'm getting them mixed up. All right, so we need to copy this command right here, fastboot boot this, copy it, go back to the thing here, paste it, and then press enter. And it should boot our tablet up here shortly. It's gonna do a little graphic glitch. Don't freak out, don't worry, this is fine. And after this is done, our tablet will be rooted. We can download Solid Explorer, Root Explorer, ES File Explorer, go to the tools on the left-hand side of the screen, go down to you see um, check hidden files, and then check Root Explorer. You'll get a little prompt for super user, just grant it. And then you can go to ETC and remove the 
um, recovery from boot file. And then in system, there's another file. It's like install dash recovery sh. Or that might be in the etc. And the install recovery from boot might be in the system. So you just need to delete two files that are basically installing custom recovery on your device every time you boot back into Android. So we're going to get Android's upgrading. That is perfectly fine. We are done with the computer. We do not need it anymore. So close that out. And now when you unlock your device and you go to your app drawer, you'll see a brand new app called Super SU. You will need to go to the Play Store and go to... Oh, and by the way, the latest Play Store as of this video is 4617. If you do not have that version, I will link to it in the description. So you just need to go to My Apps and then it'll pull up here and just hit Update All. I also paid for the Pro version. So while it's doing that, I'm going to go here and... Click on it. It's like $2.99, but Chainfire is an amazing developer, so it's definitely in your best interest to consider purchasing it. After this is installed, I will continue. We're almost done here, I promise you. All right, so SuperSU Pro has been installed, and SuperSU is also on there as well, so we can open that up. It'll say, do you want to update the binary? Anytime you go to My Apps and SuperSU has updated, you'll want to open it up, and you will always want to continue and then hit normal. If you have any problems with normal, then as it recommends, you'll need to use the twerp or clockwork mod recovery method. It says installation success. You need to reboot your device. So now you can go to the Play Store and download an app called BusyBox. There is a free version, but again, I paid for the Pro because if it's, you know... If it's anything root related more than, or I support the developer, I try to purchase the pro version. And to verify that we have root, we can download Root Checker by Joey Krim. There are many different versions, so please make sure you download the one by Joey Krim. There is a free version, but again, I paid for the pro, so I'm going to go ahead and install that. It just gives you more information. There's no ads and stuff like that. So open that up. Agree. Okay. And then verify root. Congratulations, you have a rooted device. You can grant it root permission, and it'll tell you, Congratulations, you have root, super user status. And then we need to go to BusyBox, and that's going to ask for root as well. Let's go ahead and hit this little X up here. And then you got to wait till it's 100% loaded. Since I have the pro version, I can check this little box right here allow automatic updates. And when this is done, you hit install. All right, it's 100% loaded. I can hit install. And then congratulations. It looks like BusyBox was successful. So now you can download Titanium Backup from the Google Play Store. And you can start restoring apps, backing up apps. Uh, you have to unlock your bootloader in order to do this method. So that's going to erase your tablet. But once you root it for the very first time, you will always and forever be able to download Titanium Backup from the Google Play Store, do a batch backup of all user apps, and then either have it storing it on your SD card on the side here, or having those synced to the cloud. That way, if you reset your device by unlocking it again someday, Titanium Backup will pull all that stuff from the cloud, or you can tell Titanium Backup to look in here by going to Menu, Preferences, Backup Folder Location, Detect, Whole Device, and then choosing the EXTSD that it pulls it up from, storage one on some ROMs, um, external SD card, whatever. Congratulations, you have a rooted tablet. You can now download things that let you modify game values. Uh, you'll have to go on the internet and search for those yourselves. I'm not, you know, <laughs> going to provide you with any, any more information than that backup and restore apps you can install recovery tools from the google play store you can download the latest dot image of clockwork mod recovery or torp recovery and flash it within android without going through fast food apx or anything like that it's just once you have root you can do so much and i mean i highly recommend rooting your device it just opens up a lot of things that you weren't able to do before now you can if you enjoyed the video as always please do me a huge favor by giving a thumbs up it's just a little click but trust me it goes a long way it lets me know you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this plus it helps out the channel more than you probably know
Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those are the two main social media accounts that I use the most. I post about upcoming videos, devices that I'm going to be getting for videos and stuff. It's just if you want to know what I'm working on before waiting on me to upload a video, follow me on various social media accounts. I have many of them and they're all linked in the description below. Please click where it says show more. You'll find links to my Twitter, Instagram, Vine, Facebook, Google Plus, everything, as well as a link to the XDA thread where you can download all these tools and root your transfer pad TF701T. This is what Josh do, and I'm out.